embrace your struggles because they come in all of our lives. None of us are exempt from having stuff going on in our lives that can affect us tremendously and that can make us literally shut down. I had literally shut down, y'all. Had that guy who I almost shot <laughs> never came to my door, I wouldn't be standing here today. You get that? I, I cursed that guy, and that guy was probably one of the biggest blessings of my life. He was a storm. He was a storm. He was God. He was the universe knocking on my door saying, Missy, it's time to move. You got to move. And I look back at that, and I thank God for that guy right now. I didn't mean it, but I do now because that guy changed my life. That guy got me to a point to where I ran into some people that I knew and I got back to work and I got my energy back and I got my life back and I got my focus back and I got my vision back and I'm standing on stage talking Woo! to you. Yeah! accept them and understand what they are and learn how to work through the storm. Get prepared for it because they're coming. Get prepared for it and learn how to work through whatever storm you're going through in your life so you can move to the next level. And I don't care what level you are. I don't care if you're Dave Wood. Dave Wood can get better. Okay? I don't care what level you are at. Everybody can get better. And it took me a long time to embrace that thought. But I used to look at Tiger Woods and everybody was upset with him in the 2000s when he was winning all of these tournaments. And he's, they were getting mad at him because he was changing his swing. And they were like, why are you changing your swing? You're winning everything. He said, because you can always get better. It's true. You can always get better. Embrace where you are. Embrace the struggles in your life. Your, the struggles are just signals. They're just feedback saying something needs to happen. You need to move. You need to move. You need to move, you need to move, you need to move. And nothing is going to change in your life, I promise you, until you move. As a nine-year-old girl coming from the projects of Chicago, my mama told me to move. I got an education and I moved. I married a man, fell in love with him, had three beautiful sons. I lost that man and the last note that that man left me before he passed away was that the rest of your life will be the best of your life. I'm like, how the hell is he saying that? <laughs> but I get it. I get it. He was releasing me. He was strong. He was saying, it's okay. This chapter has closed. It's a storm. But I want you to move. That's all the time I got. <laughs>